Hello everybody, Marlene, aka Snowgarner307. We are here for our money diaries and holy cow, did we spend some money. We're also going to be doing some happy mail and some savings challenges. So let's go ahead and get the confessions started. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Going to go ahead and start off with our happy mail first and so this first one is from ellie on earth so let's take a look and so i joined her membership so let's go ahead and take a look and see what i've got in here and it says let me pull these out because you guys know i love supporting other creators they work so hard it says howdy partner welcome to september's monthly subscription this month we're riding the trail to stash away 100 dollars. so saddle up and join us on this wild west adventure grab your hat and boots and let's wrestle up some savings together yeehaw ellie on earth how cute is that okay so we've got a couple stickers here and we've got happy trails 100 dollars Ellie on Earth, all, as always, her challenges are absolutely amazing. They're also very vintagey, is what I would call them. That is her, um, you know, status. I guess not status, her style. That's what I meant to do. And it says, let's lasso up some savings. And we've got some rolling saves on here. And it says, welcome to the Ellie on Earth subscription family. So happy to have you join us. And so we've got a couple more rolling saves. We've also got waffle couplets, assorted colors, scratch and roll. So we've got the scratch offs and the roll and saves and everybody loves ice cream. Okay, so that was part of it. Then I also had another package in here and it says, hello, my lovies. Thank you for lovelies, not lovies. Thank you for being a wonderful member. How adorable is our vintage girl with her playful kittens? Join the fun and embark on our charming savings challenge to set aside $55. Start today saving and watch your goals come to life with a perfectly delightful twist. Ellie on Earth. And so what I'm thinking is happening here is I joined at the end of September. So I probably got the September and this is probably the October here. We've got a couple vintagey looking stickers. We've got this cute little Christmas kitten savings challenge challenge for $55. We also have a $65 reindeer challenge. And oh my goodness, this brings me back to my childhood and probably before. And so we've got a little angel with her Christmas um, ornament in her hand. So that's all from Ellie on Earth. You guys, if you are interested in joining some subscriptions um, on YouTube to get some extra challenges to start saving up um, to use them to pay off your debt or any of the above. And then you guys, we have got more things for the Yorkies. This is from my friend Pat over at Princess and Pup. So let's go ahead. We got two of these. Let me make sure. I know they're both from her, so we're going to open them both at the same time and see what we've got. And I don't know why I got two of them. Pat likes to surprise me. She is one of the OG um, SG307 members. I mean, she has not necessarily a member, but a subscriber. She has been on my channel as long as I can remember. Let's go ahead and open this up and see what this is. For any of you guys who haven't seen my past videos with Pat's products in here, I love to order little handkerchiefs for my dog. So we're going to open that one. We're also going to open this one. It looks like they both have cards in them. And you guys, I was trying to be nice, but we're just going to do that. It's much, much easier. So let's start with the small stack first and see what it says. And let's open up this little card right here. Da, da, da. If I can get it out, we'd be doing amazing. I hope all of you guys are doing fabulous. Let's see. It says, hi, Marlene. Thanks again for your patience. This fabric, I am all, I am all about these designs. Hope your pups love them too. And then it's from Pat. And so let's take a look. Oh, how fun are these? Oh my goodness. So we actually have four, four different designs of this. How cute is this for the holidays, you guys? And if you're not familiar with the little handkerchiefs I buy for my Yorkies, the way it works is these get put around their collars and then they have these cute little handkerchiefs. And these are small because of course my Yorkies are small. And now let's take a look at this one and see what it says. These cards are so bright, you guys. Look at these right here. Woo! 
Woo! It says, thanks for allowing me to dress your pups. I'll be sending three new Christmas bandanas to you soon. Thank you for your business thoughts. She had asked me a couple questions um, about her business and such, and I gave her some of those. <laughs> so we've got, a, we've got Christmas here. I love these. I love blue snowflakes. Oh, look at this. We've got green bandanas. <laughs> we have naughty and nice. Naughty on one side, nice on the other. We have a fall set. Cute, cute, cute. Look at that. That's a cute pattern. We also have little puppuccinos. That's what I'm going to say. Or pup cups. So three of those. And when I ordered from Pat, I just asked her to send me a variety. And so my pups are set up for um, quite a while. You can wash these, you guys, and reuse them on your dogs. It's just a fun thing. A little way that I spoil the Yorkies. Next, you guys, I'm super excited to open this next one right here. This is from my friend Danny over at Craft Co. Budgets, and I'm so excited. I saw Liz open this up, and then Danny asked if it was okay if I waited for a little bit because she was changing it up. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. Do, 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 do. Let's see what we've got. All right, so we've got Danny at Craft Co. Budgets, and we have got my order that I placed. And so I did the save 25, 2025, and it says Empowering Boho Savings Challenge Book, Low Income, Unique Scratch Off, Free Accessories Pack. And then I also ordered myself a Happy Hello Thanksmas Scratch Off. So we've got all of her. Um, things and stuff right here. So we've got her on Etsy. We've got her on YouTube and on Instagram. And we've got this cute scratch off coin here. It says, be happy, be free, be kind, craft co budgets. And we've got a roll and save. Let's see. Yes. Look at these. These, these are just beautiful. You guys, these images, and this is so Danny style. If you guys like this style, this is what you're going to get from Danny. We've got 100, 500, $1,000 placeholders, and we've got more in here, so let's take a look. Here is the challenge that I ordered, so let's go ahead and open this up and see what I've got. And so I ordered this one right here, Happy Hallow Thank Thanks Mus. <laughs> I love this one with the Grinch right here. You can't sit with us. <laughs> Love that as well from Danny. And it says Grinch, Santa, and Jack. And this is a roll and save on the back, a scratch off on the front. And I ordered this one as well. And this one is double sided. So these were the two that I ordered. Got a little thank you, uh, $32 color and save. So save $2 a piece. And then we've got the book and we have got the dashboards here. And of course those... Um, placeholders also match the book. So let's pull these out right here. And we have got an A5 and an A6. Craft Go Budgets amount 1 to 10. And let's go ahead and open this book up without further ado. If I can get it open, that is. Do, do, do. And you guys, I'm so excited. Danny is now having these professionally printed absolutely gorgeous you guys and this is for low income it says the love the life you live live the life you love and we get into here and it says money grows on the trees of persistence a little goes a long way an 84 dollar challenge we've got a 90 dollar a 60 dollar challenge we've got don't be afraid be focused be determined be hopeful be empowered save 100 dollars there is no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise. Oh, I love that. Save $75. This is your moment. Own it. Be you. Do you. For you. A $50 scratch off. And look at these cute scratch off stickers right here, you guys. These little um, flowers right here are scratch offs. It says the only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. We are what we repeatedly do. Each butterfly is $5, so you're going to fill in the butterfly on this. Save $100. Another scratch off. Um, another $100 challenge. You could easily just scratch these off if you want. And oh my gosh, look at these stickers, you guys. Absolutely gorgeous. Is this a sticker? I can't tell. No. 
That one is not a sticker. It almost looks like a sticker, but these flowers over here are stickers. I don't need it to be easy. I need it to be worth it. Amounts one to nine, and this is $150. Don't let what you can't do stop you from doing what you can. And so at first I thought these were scratch off stickers. They're not. Each tree is $10, so you could easily color those in there. Empowered women, empower women. That's right. If I cannot do great things, I can do small things in a great way. Love it. And do something today that will that your future self will thank you for. Remember why you started. Save $200. Each puzzle piece is $5. I never dreamed about success. I worked for it. Dreamed. Sometimes you guys, I say dreamed. I know. It's the way I talk. I'm sorry. Behind every successful woman is herself. Save $50 there. Be your own wonder woman. Above all, be the heroine of your life, not the victim. Don't stop until you're proud. Color and save. Save $50 so each flower is $10. Well-behaved women seldom make history. <laughs> save $51 there. Dream big, stay focused, and make it happen. This is a mystery bonus. You also get an A5 envelope in there to collect all of your savings. Today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. Bonus $147. And it says created created lovingly by Craft Co. Budgets with some blood, sweat, and cuss words. <laughs> and if you know Danny, you know that that is so true. Absolutely gorgeous, Danny. That turned out amazing. So if you guys are looking for a savings challenge book, holy cow, she does an amazing job. The colors on that are just gorgeous, Danny. Next, we've got one more piece of Happy Mail. This is not budget related right here. I believe I know what it is, but I haven't looked. I, I ordered something for myself and I don't do this a lot. Yes, I order a lot of stuff, but I don't order this kind of stuff a lot. Let's see, what do I have there? Some, some sort of freebie. So you guys, we travel quite a bit. Oops, I guess I don't have to tear that bag. It has a a zipper there. And I've been seeing these crossbody bags and I really wanted a crossbody bag. So I went ahead and ordered myself one. You've got a little pocket here that does have a little snap, but the best thing is you put this on your body and it can stay close to your body. And of course it goes across one shoulder and under the other arm. So it is um, fit in there. And I will put this down below just in case you guys are interested. I believe this is a wallet. Yes, this is a wallet where you put your cards into. I'm going to have to look and see how it works. This right here, I know, raises the cards up. You do have a little piece in the back where you could put like your ID or something like that in the back. So this was like a free gift when I ordered the bag. Um, but it does have two zipper pockets here, one little snap pocket, and then it also has a zipper right here. And so you can put stuff in here. It's also got a little pocket in there. And yeah, this is not a super high dollar product. It's just one that I wanted to try. So I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, especially if you're carrying some cash and stuff, it's important to keep yourself safe. All right, let's go ahead and go into our weekly spending. We are in our October weekly spending. We are on week two. Let's go ahead and flip the page. And you guys, holy cow, Marlene did some spending. So let's go ahead and talk about Monday first. I had a Vistaprint order for Snow Gardener 307 for $66.44. Couple YouTube subs, 99 cents and 9.99. I got myself a chai tea. I've been drinking maple chai teas, you guys. They're delicious. Six dollars for that. On Tuesday, I got my eyelashes done. Um, I also got a facial. I am buying myself a facial about every quarter, every three to four months as a bonus for myself for self-care. Those both came out of personal care. Went to Wind River Brewery with my sister-in-law, Shannon, for $90.60. That came out of fun. On Amazon, you guys, I finally pulled the trigger on something that I think will help me keep my house cleaner, especially with pets and everything. I got a robot vacuum that vacuums and mops. So $4.15.99 is coming out of the house fund. Super excited about that. Mr. Snow Gardener was surprised I pulled the plug on that, but I am so excited for that. Um, Amazon also $112.69. These are Christmas presents is what these are. So I'm starting to gather my Christmas presents. Another chai tea for me, $6. On Wednesday, it was a no spend because I worked. On Thursday, a no spend <laughs> because I worked. And then on Friday, you guys, we went out of town my members already know this, um, but when we were out of town, um, a group of teenage drivers um, 
hit our car and we had a car accident, but we still spent a lot of money. So that happened Friday night. Um, but before that happened, we went to the Olive Garden. I had a $50 gift card. So we spent 50 more dollars on food. Um, we went to Uptown Cheapskates, you guys, the best thrift stores ever. And we went to two different stores. We spent $119.61 at one, $256.33 at the other. So we spent what, $375 or so. That was for clothes for me and Mr. Snow Gardener. He's super excited. He got like a pair of hiking boots for, I think it was $40. They're close to $400 full price and they're almost brand new. Um, and we also had to get some fuel in the car for $28.01. And then on Saturday, we did Chick-fil-A for $54.00. 38. I bought my cousin and her husband Chick-fil-A. Um, we had to go to the Subaru dealer to get some coolant for my car to see if it was in fact leaking coolant right now. Luckily it's not. It is drivable. Beans and brews. My husband is addicted to beans and brews. Just so you guys know, he gets a frozen Mr. Bees. I don't know if you guys have that around or not, but um, my cousin's husband showed or took my husband there a while ago. And now every time we go, he gets beans and brews. So I'm pretty sure he got one on Friday, two on Saturday, and one on Sunday. The reason why they're not showing up on my expenditures is it came out of his spending money, his account, and I don't track his accounts. And then we went to the at-home store, you guys. Oh my goodness. My husband is such an enabler. I told him, that I had a couple things I wanted to do for the weekend because I didn't know if he was going to get to go with me or not. I wanted to go to Uptown Cheapskates, get some clothes, and I wanted to go to the at-home store. I wanted a skinny tree for my spare bedroom, so I wanted one Christmas tree. You guys, Mr. Snow Gardener enabled me not only to buy one tree, but four trees. That's right, you guys. If you haven't seen my Christmas craziness, you can go check it out on my other channel, which is just Snow Gardener 307. Sometimes you have to scroll down through um, because Snow Gardener 307 Budgets has so much more content than um, the original Snow Gardener cha channel. So go check that out. But I bought four new trees, but I'm getting rid of trees um, because a lot of the trees that I got, I got either from garage sales or from the thrift store. So a lot of them are not lighted. None of them are full-size big trees. We also got some decor. Um, we also bought a present for my in-laws um, for Halloween. They decorate like crazy for Halloween and we like to um, give them things as thank yous for watching the Yorkies because the Yorkies were with them all weekend. Um, it was $650-ish. Um, I don't have the receipt and it went on to my husband's account. Then we went with my cousin and her husband to Wendover. We tried our luck at gambling. It did not work. And so $900 came out of fun. Um, and we know we don't ever gamble any money that we don't anticipate to lose. And so $900, could you flush it down the toilet along with all the rest of this money? Target, we went to Target and um, had to get a baby shower gift. That's why we went down there. Um, my cousin's son is having a baby. So $5,308 for that gift. And then on Sunday, coming back, um, we had to stop and get some gas. And then I realized I put both of these under gas gas or under car. One of these is gas. One of these is snacks. And then we had a YouTube sub for $3.99. So for the month so far, we have six no spends, nothing to brag about. <laughs> we spent a total this week of $3,132.15 for the first time in a long time snow gardener the spending was only 8141 and personal spending was $3,050.74. So it went a little bit crazy. But it's okay because all of this money came out of sinking funds and the such. So we budgeted for all of this money. And now let's go ahead and do $125 into savings challenges. And that's what we're going to start off with. We're going to go ahead and grab our large savings challenges first. We're going to start off with our large savings challenges. And then we're going to go to our small ones. We're going to go ahead and do our turkey trot. And let me grab my dice and my um, little dice roller here. And Georgia is right in the way. Let's move these off to the side. We're going to go ahead and roll two dice. I need to get out a marker. 
And I wanted to let you guys know, some of you guys were not fans of the 10 minute Monday um, because I was so stressed and I was trying to get it done so fast. I am going to attempt to do it again. Um, it is a 10 minute savings challenge video. This time I have a different timer. I had to put a battery in this timer and I didn't have the battery. So I'll have that for the next one. I also won't stress out so much and I'll just relax and go with the flow kind of like I do for these videos here. So this is for our main dish right here. Let's see what we're going to have. So we've got a five and a four. So $9 right here. Five is turkey. Four is hot dogs. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And let's go ahead and flip on over. We've got the side dishes and the side dishes aren't quite as crazy. I've joked around about, I should have like put one like as jelly beans or something like that, but I didn't. We're going to roll two dice again. And we've got a five and a four again. Five is stuffing and four is fruit salad. So fruit salad, the reason why I picked fruit salad is because of the wiggles. How many of you guys had kids that grew up in that era or maybe you were a child yourself because of course my kids are almost 22 and 19. I'm gonna grab a 10, you guys, put $1 back. And so I thought of the song Fruit Salad and that's why I went with that one. And then we've got our dessert. So let's see what we're gonna get for our dessert right here we're gonna do a three and a five and three is trying to win and three is a cheese and fruit platter and believe it or not that is one of my favorite desserts like when we go on a cruise and stuff I love getting the cheese and fruit platter so we're gonna take two dollars put this back in here grab ten dollars and you guys I said that this money was going to buy me a tree well it turns out it's going to buy me Four trees. <laughs> so we'll see how much money we have in here to reimburse myself for the tree money that I spent out of the holidays. And then we're going to go ahead and flip on over and do Oh Christmas Tree. And that, of course, is still Turkey Trot. So Oh Christmas Tree, we're just going to roll once. This is going into giving. And Mr. Snow Gardener and I were just recently able to give to somebody. We're so excited to be able to give to people. And um, we hope that we made this person's day. And that's all I'm going to say about that. We're going to go ahead and save $3 for Oh Christmas Tree. We're just going to write a three in here. We're going to go ahead and I keep writing on myself every video I do. One, two, and three. I'm going to put this into Oh Christmas Tree. Then I'm just going to pick a random color and I'm trying to make them so they're not the same. We're gonna go ahead and color this. And like I said, this is just because I want a little bit more color on my challenge. I kept this challenge very simple, not a ton of color. If you can't tell, I love color. Um, if you happen to glance, you know, tattoos and stuff, you will see lots of color. And I did have somebody in one of my recent videos um, make a comment about what this tattoo is. And that tattoo is for my mom. I lost my mom um, over four years ago. And so, all right, now we're going to go ahead and do shut the box. But before we do shut the box, we're going to pull this on over. I almost dropped it on the floor. And we're going to do our craft co budgets. We're going to do our Australia savings challenge here. We're going to scratch one of these off. And that is it. And I like using my dice right here to see how many we're going to go across. And Danny is known for her custom scratch off stickers. And so we're going to go three. So we're going to go one, two, and three. Let's go ahead and scratch this one right here. So $8. And I don't even have my vacuum out, you guys. So $8. So five, six, seven, and eight. We're only going to play one row of shut the box because we only have $125 and I would like to be able to put money in everything. So one round to shut the box and I need to grab a couple more markers out, but I do have them right here. I've got the purple and the black. And of course, this is our last time using this sheet of shut the box. So we've got our shut the box dice right here. And I hope you guys are able to see those. Okay. Oh yeah, we're good. All right, so I had to double check and make sure. So just one round today, you guys. No whammies, big bucks, big bucks. Let me go ahead and put something up right here for you guys to see. Um, we did not win on this machine. And I chased a bonus, which is how they get you. But I just absolutely love it. And it is um, a lot of fun. And Mr. Snow Gardener and I did not have any luck. We should have known better. 
because right now it doesn't seem like the lady luck is on our side. So no whammies, no whammies, you guys. We got a six. So we've got a two, three, eight, and a nine. So how about an eight or a nine? We've got a 10. That'll work. So we'll go ahead and do an eight and a two. So we have a nine and a three left. If we shut the box, it is $25. And we've got a three. All right, you guys. So we need a nine and we'll shut the box. Can we do it? And we got an 11. Wow, that's not too bad. So $9 right here. Cross that off with the purple one. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a 10 because I know in my shut the box money, I've got a dollar right there. I'm going to put that dollar back, put that $9 in there. And then we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to just roll one dice for our save 20, 25 in 2025. This is from my friend Nita at the Almost Organized Owl. And so one dice is all we're going to roll. Do we have the correct one here? We do. We need a D12 dice right here. And we got a four, so that's a scratch off. We're going to start at the top and go down. I'm a little scared, you guys. I'm a little scared. What's it going to be? Woo, five dollars. Yoo-hoo. I'm so happy because, like I said, we don't have a lot of money to spend today. So we've got five dollars. I'm going to go ahead and put that into the envelope. Then we're going to go ahead and get into the Georgette books and see where we're at for the Georgette books. We've got the life of a pig who wants to save but loves to spend. And you guys... If you're watching this video and you're not a member, I have some exciting news. Yes, you guys, some exciting news for everybody that has been asking for this. It's coming back. It's back already, you guys. Members have been able to pre-order it, and this is going to launch on Monday. So if you want a life of a pig who wants to save but loves to spend. It's going to be very similar to this one, but not exactly the same. Let me show you guys one difference is you are going to get an A5 envelope with a die cut sticker this time. Um, the Travel Georgette comes with the sticker on the envelope, but I decided to ask Shannon over at 307 Design Studio if she could make me a sticker that's a die cut. So just in case, maybe you don't want to use an A5. Maybe you've got an A6 binder. Then you can put it wherever you want, or maybe you want it to go somewhere else. So you guys, so excited. Monday. That's right. Watch my Instagram. You're going to see some different things on there. So let's go ahead and roll on back to our October. And of course, the dogs are back there barking. We're going to go ahead and scratch one. And let's scratch. Let's scratch this one up at the top. This one is two to eight. So let's see what we've got here. We've got $6 for Miss Georgette. Um, the witch, she is flying her broom. Fly that broom. So six dollars, five and six. And we're going to go ahead and play our dice back here. We're ending right here. And I am going down this way because I'm just going to try to make it through the maze. So we're going to go ahead and roll. We're only going to roll a three sided dice. So if you look here, it only has one, two and three. And so we got a one. All we're saving is one dollar. Ooh, dot marker. I've got a dot marker right here. So we're going to just save $1 towards this, you guys, and we're going to put one right there. So we have got $1. These are both going into the same envelope. I'm going to go ahead and move my sticky note there. Now, you guys, if you want to work your way all the way around, you could save so much money. So that is the OG George Georgette book, which is coming back. Today is the first time I have even mentioned that it's coming back. I'm going to go ahead and put the $7 into her envelope. And then you guys, we have got our travel Georgette book. And of course, this is collect memories, not things. Now, just because I'm using it for travel and Georgette is traveling all over the place doesn't mean you have to. I just noticed that I have cat hair all over my sweatshirt. I think the cats were cuddled up with it. We're just going to do one. This for us is going to Australia. We are going to roll a D12 and a heads tails. The heads tails dice you guys have asked about, I got it as a gift. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in some possible fun things. If you can't find it, let me know. We've got 11 and heads. Woohoo. And look at this. We've got our Viking Georgette right here. So this is a mystery challenge one to nine. I'm going to go ahead and scratch this one up here with the Northern Lights. I am impressed how much we've been able to see the Northern Lights. 
um, this year. I don't ever remember being able to see them as much as we have. So $4 for this one. This one goes in here with her. So there's her sticker. And we're going to take one away. We're going to put five in. I've got my note here that says put placeholders in Australia binder because all of this is going to Australia. All right, you guys, how are we doing on money? We're doing okay. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and do Life's a Beach. This is going towards our uh, scuba diving. And let's go ahead and go on back. We're going to roll one dice, a D6, and we're going to save that amount for scuba diving. And we got one buckaroo. We'll take it. One dollar. Every dollar adds up. Mr. Snow Gardener and I already have our diving paid for for the trip that's coming up in less than a month, you guys. So that one is going fabulously. And then we've got our poppet. And let's go ahead and go back to the poppet where we are. And we are still coloring this poppet. This is for the emergency fund. And if I can get this book to fold in half, it would be amazing. We don't need a dice, so I'm going to move that. We do need our markers. And you guys, if you're interested in these markers, I do have them down below. We're going to go ahead and color this up here, and it's $6. So let's go ahead and color this. We're going to color this one red. And I mean, I don't know what would be red that I would eat with a green olive, but hey, <laughs> to each their own. We're going to do that one, and then we're going to act like this is a sidecar um, drink. One of my favorite drinks, you guys, is an Italian margarita from Olive Garden. If you guys like amaretto, mm, it's absolutely delicious. But when we go to Utah, because liquor laws in Utah are quite strange, you cannot have the drink the way that it's supposed to be because in Utah that is considered two drinks and you cannot have two drinks on the table at a time. So we're just going to do that. We're going to keep it simple. So $6 for that one. And that's going towards our emergency fund. So five and six. And let's take a look at our poppet. We don't change these envelopes out as much as the others. So yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of some of these smaller bills here and use up that 10. Oh yeah, we've got this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five and five equal 10. And just like that. Okay, and that is for our poppet. Like I said, going to our emergency fund. We've got one more of those drinks left. We've got two more fish bowls and a couple bottles of champagne to color. Now let's go ahead and get into our Janelle Ray budgets binder. And let's get our dice back here. We need our uh, D12, our heads. No, we need our D10, our heads or tails. And we also need a dice to roll when we have a rolling challenge. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got one in heads. So one in heads right here. And I know in the last video I made a mistake. You guys told me I made a mistake. So I am going to go ahead and correct that. So we've got one and two in here. And you guys, let me, let's see what you guys said really quick here. We're going to go in and correct this right now so that you guys know. It, I had several comments that I made a mistake. And I think it was number eight needed to have $5. But let's verify right here and see what is going on here? Do, do, do. I put a members only video up today. And so there's all kinds of comments there. I had the one where I had to fix it. Okay. So right here, lots of comments, but this one is Gwen Davidson. She says, you forgot to add $5 to number eight. So let's go ahead and fix that right now. So $5 to number eight, six, seven, and eight. Okay. So we're going to put that five in there. So now you guys know that it is in there. And we have got number five and heads, five and heads. Let's go ahead and scratch this one right here. And so we've got six more dollars going in here. I know you guys already know this, but I absolutely love the monthly binders from Janelle Ray Budgets. If you guys are looking for something fun to do, it is a great thing. And you know what I think I remember? Oh, 10 is empty, you guys. Oh, no. All right, let's pause really quick. I'll be right back. So you guys, we were just talking on Liz and Les, she had a live and we were talking about, I think it was members only, 
organizing savings challenges and your girl here needs some help organizing savings challenges look at this it is just full of savings challenges i mean so full i can't even get them out so i am going to pick one of these out and i'm going to try to pick one that will fit in the binder how will that one fit that'll fit okay we'll go ahead and go with candy over at stuff and budget and this one is so pretty it kind of matches the october uh book besides it's a jellyfish of course this one is uh times two equals double the next scratch so i don't know how big these are let's hope that they're within my budget and let's see what we've got right here okay seven dollars and this is going to go to my november cd as long as we finish this one which i have a feeling we will and of course, we just finished the last one not that long ago. Number 10 sure does need a new envelope. You can tell this one's been around a long time because of that label right there. All right, you guys, let's keep going. We've got three and tails. And we have got some spider webs here. Six dollars. And I want to thank you guys for sharing with me what you and family members are doing for Halloween, whether you're dressing up, whether you're giving out candy. Um, like I told you guys, I will be with my daughter that day, at least during the day, um, to celebrate her birthday and get pedicures and go shopping. So one in heads, even though after this last shopping trip, I probably shouldn't spend any more money um, than what we've already spent. I did save that little bit of extra money for her to be able to go shopping, to have guilt-free spending. Because you guys, when you're a youth, She's not a youth, a young adult, I guess, early 20s. Most of the time, you're just working, trying to pay bills. You don't have a lot of extra money. And so that's why I wanted to do that for her. Okay, all the way back to nine, we've got our Liz and Less challenge. And this one right here, I said, was going to close. And boy, we're going to have to refill our close budget after we did the last one. And so we are going to, are we going to do $11? That's the next one. I don't know if I want to do $11. I'm not going to do $11. We're going to do $7 and put this kitten up here. Five, six, and seven. And for this video, you guys, if I roll a nine or a 10 again, we're going to pick a different one um, because nine and 10 are not our top goals. Um, of course, we do have different areas where these are going to. So even though I guess nine right here says emergency fund, but I had decided it was going to close. You guys know I said that. <laughs> and nine before went to Julia. And so I'm actually going to take the time right here and I'm going to cross that off because number nine, we're, we're doing various things. And again, it's my book. It's my video. I can change the rules if I want. All right, let's go ahead and keep on rolling. We've got three and tails, so three and tails, another spider web. And what do we have here? Eight dollars. Sheesh. I'm going to say that number three is a pretty large savings challenge. So five, six, seven, and eight. Just because of the numbers on this backside, they seem kind of big. We've got four and tails, four and tails. This one's getting close to being done. Ghosts I put were three dollars. And we did get another ghost. So $3 there. And we're going to go ahead and save $3. One, two, and three. $3 going in there. And we got seven and heads. Five, six, seven and heads. You guys know that I love this one right here. There's a spider right there, which means we get to do a scratch. So let's go ahead and scratch. We got $4 for that spider. And so I know that we've already done that spider. What I'm doing is putting a little X over him. And then that way I don't try to do it again. And we've got one and tail. So all the way to the front. And this is a roll and save. And we've got $6. Oh, goodness. What do we have left? Look at the roll and saves on this number one, you guys. It's absolutely crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we've got $5, you guys. We're going to press our luck. I might regret it, but we're going to press our luck. Let's go one more roll. Let's see what we get. Eight and tails. Eight and tails. Oh, good, you guys. We are still good. So we got a pumpkin. And that's $2 is what that is. And then we've got $3 left over. I don't think we're going to press our luck anymore. We are just going to go ahead and... Um, call it good for this one. I'm going to put this kitty cat like this because I know that pumpkin is going to go onto it. And so we'll do that. 
And then we've got $2 going into number eight. And then you guys, we have $3 left. And what I do when I have leftover money is number 10 is always my catch all. So I'm going to put this all the way back there in number 10. And you guys, I believe that's it. I tried really hard not to talk as fast as I have been. And I also tried really hard to concentrate on the money um, because I, it seems like I keep making mistakes and you guys are like, hello, Marlene, mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. And I'm going to try really hard to focus on that from here on out. Um, I do appreciate you guys always letting me know, Hey, like for the last video, you forgot to add $5 to number eight. I love being able to correct it. I want the challenges to be correct. And so until I see you guys next time, which will be for a budgeting video, remember to keep on smiling. Bye everybody. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. You always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo Negative thoughts are poison, they ride uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh. Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it cause of sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day